So if you saw the movie S, you probably walked away thinking, hmm, this movie could probably have some sequels. And we're going to dive right into those right now. So as I said, if you watched the movie S, Jordan Peele pretty much left more questions than answers in some cases. So what's going to happen with that? Uh, I think that there could possibly be two sequels that can come out of this. So he could possibly have an Us trilogy. I think a prequel and of course a sequel, but the prequel being more of how did the tether become the tethered? So Lupita Nyong'o's character pretty much tells us that the government has created clones to have control over us. And if you watch my previous video, the review for the movie, I use the example of Peter Pan and his shadow. So, you know, if you're, if you're familiar with that story, Peter Pan and his shadow, you know, the shadow or our own shadows, they mimic what we do. So in this case, the government, I guess, was trying to use the tethered or clones or our shadows to basically keep better track of what we're doing or kind of steer us in the direction that they feel like that we wanted to go. You know, that's having control. Now, we don't really understand how it, they come to be. You know, Jordan Peele's symbolism of the bunnies, we obviously know from cloning and Lupita Nyong'o's character Adelaide or Red, the clone, pretty much tells us that the government is able to use that technology and concept to create human clones. Um, I feel like there could be more to that story. I feel like if you had a prequel, they could kind of dive into more to that about how that happened and just the overall of how the complex became to be. Um, the part that I really liked about the movie was when, you know, in the beginning we learned that Adelaide as a child meets her clone in the, you know, house of mirrors. But once, you know, grown up Adelaide actually goes back to the complex and goes down this, you know, she opens the door and a rabbit comes out and she goes through it and technically goes down, just keeps going down, down and down and like down these tunnels goes almost like an Alice in Wonderland down the rabbit hole. I really like that. But it kind of makes you wonder, all of this is set underneath Santa Cruz. It's under a carnival. Like, how did it get there? Why on the boardwalk? Why on a car like why under a carnival? Is that the best way to attract people? You know, that kind of stuff is unexplained. Uh, but once you get to the complex and you see how it's built, you just think to yourself, who built it? How is this manageable? How have they been able to survive all this time? Like, is there somebody that's been helping them? You know, this kind of stuff, you know, needs to be answered. And I feel like a prequel would be able to basically tell us how they came to be, who taught them, who basically set this in motion. Why did the government stop supporting the program? We, we know that they're not around anymore and that the tethered have just been living on their own. So why? What happened? Something had to have happened bad to cause the government to back out of the program. So that stuff could be, you know, explained, and that could basically be a whole movie itself, taking us from the very beginning to when, you know, small Adelaide meets clone Adelaide. You know, that could basically be it. That could be the linkage to that. So there's, that, that's my idea for a prequel. So Jordan Pill, if you're listening... There you go. Now what about after the movie? So obviously in the ending we learned that Lupita Nyong'o's character is in fact the original clone that basically muted Kid Adelaide and swapped places with her on the surface. So we learned that through all of that, the Kid Adelaide, her overall goal was to come back to the surface and take her place back where she belongs. And in this process, she does this very Hands Across America human link chain with all the clones. The clones have gotten out. They've started killing people on the surface. And they're basically ready to take over. So as the movie ends, you see Lupita Nyong'o's character, basically the clone version of Adelaide, driving away with her family. And she looks to her son, smirks at him because she knows that she basically got away with everything. And as they drive away, the movie pans to like scenery, and then we eventually see this long chain, almost like a great wall of people in red jumpsuits, just all over the place. And you start seeing helicopters like filming it, or we don't know if they're Air Force, you know, about to shoot them down or something. But you obviously can tell that this network of people stretches all over. I mean, we don't really know how much tether there really are. We don't know how many of them there are. So what does that really mean? I mean, are we about to find out that? there's a tethered version of the president. You know, I don't know if we're going to go that far, but you know, the whole point of the hands across America was to link it from California to New York. So basically in his, his ending, he 
pretty much lets us know that that's probably what's going to happen. So I think if we were to do a sequel, we could possibly have, heck, I don't know, I guess we could have like a an uprising and maybe it's just our, our fight for survival, clones versus the, the real people and, you know, how that's going to take place. So I'll have to wait and see. But as far as movie titles, I think we have, we have Us, which I think is a variation. I was thinking about this. In the movie, and this is kind of like side chop, side top, sidetracked, but in the movie, Red, which is the clone version of Adelaide Lupita Nyong'o's character, she's, you know, Lupita says, who are you? And Red, Lupita Nyong'o's clone character says, we're Americans. So I think that it's us, as in it's us, like they are us, but it's also like supposed to be like US, like United States, like Americans. Just loosely thinking there. You can let me know in the comments below what you think if that's kind of off off the wall, but I think that's probably what that means. Just a, just a thought that I had. But back to the titles of the movies, we have Us, and then we could have for the sequel, We, because now we're, we are all affected by them, and that leads me to that prequel would be Them. So you have Us, We, and Them, and that is your trilogy and the Us horror movie saga. Let me know in the comments below what you think, if you think those are, are good working titles and what your thoughts are for a prequel and a sequel. I know that Jordan Peele's already working on a sequel to Get Out, supposedly it's rumored, um, but I think that this movie has a better chance of having sequels made and, and actually being able to extend more of the story of the Tethered and what happens to Lupita's character as they em you know embrace this new apocalyptic world that they're about to enter into. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you're in the mashup, I cover everything from tech, gaming, entertainment, and more. So if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button notification bell, and I'll see you at the next mashup.